guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm jumping in really quickly with uh, Tarot Storytime, and this is put on by James of Light of Riga. Um, he actually just messaged me today on Instagram and was like, you know, he created this video and he thought that it would be right up my alley, and he was totally correct um, after watching his video, which I will... Um, link in the description box. Um, I thought it was excellent and so um, I was actually gonna go to bed right now but then I thought I would go ahead and film this for you guys because I um, I just couldn't wait to, to do it. It just seemed like a lot of fun. For this video what I'm gonna be using is the Sasaraibito Tarot and um, what he's done is he said to just take your take your tarot cards shuffle them up um, and then just start pulling cards and not to necessarily read them based off of like you know traditional meanings of the cards but just to kind of go off the picture so almost like reading it um, like an oracle card you know using your your intuition and just creating a storyboard um, I've done something like this before uh, when I did a VR to um, chase from uh, two of owls and um, but I think that was it was like a three or four four card spread so for this one it was like um, I don't know, I just use as many cards as possible. So I've kind of lifted the height of my camera because I don't know how many cards I'm going to need for this. Um, so I have brought my cuppa with me and um, it's the Sip and Be Merry Tea from um, Republic of Tea. So if you know Republic of Tea, I highly recommend it. Um, it tastes like uh, cardamom and vanilla and something else um, but anyway so I thought I'd be a little festive since you know Yule's coming up so I have my little pine cone over there and um, my rhodonite and quartz and well Tibetan quartz and um, yeah so let's go ahead and um, create a little story how fitting that I'm gonna be going to bed right after this so this is like a little bedtime story and sorry I keep knocking the camera okay So I'm just going to pull card by card and we'll go kind of like part by part of this story, whatever this story is. So I'm asking the universe to give us a good bedtime story or if it's not bedtime for you, just a good story in general. So give us a good story. All right. I feel that's pretty good. Give myself a little sip. Oh, that's really good tea. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and pull our first card. Okay. <laughs> you like how I just took my sip of tea and this dude's having some tea. Okay. So we'll call this man. Um, I don't know. What does he look like? Uh, um, Harrison. Okay. His name is Harrison. So Harrison was going to start yet another day. Um, at his job at the, he's whittling. Yes, Harrison is a whittler. <laughs> I don't know what year this is or what state we're in, but um, Harrison is whittling and this is actually his last day um, of gainful employment because he is going to retire. So he's having himself his last, uh, we'll say it's tea. I mean, it could be a cup of joe, but it could be a cup of tea as well. So he's just having his last morning cup of tea, um, you know, uh, but Harrison really loves whittling. So he'll probably just continue doing it um, at home, you know, instead of at a job. But this is the last time he'll actually have to go into work today. So yay for Harrison. Okay, so we'll put Harrison over there. What else about Harrison? All right, so there is a, a woman at his job who um, is a little downtrodden that this is Harrison's last day. Um, she feels like it's almost like a stab to the heart, um, you know, that he's going to be leaving her because uh, she's rather young. She kind of sees him as a kind of grandfather figure, um, and she's really enjoyed his stories that he tells her um, every day at work, and, um, and she's, she's just going to miss that time. With Harrison so she's she's not really too happy about his retirement but you know Harrison's pretty stoked because he's been working for like 30 some odd years okay let's see let's pull up okay 
Okay, so let's see. Um, so today at work, as Harrison is, is working, and uh, this is the last time he'll be working with the young lady, we'll call her Veronica. So Harrison, um, you know, is telling Veronica that, you know, she can uh, definitely go visit him anytime. Um, and they're creating a very interesting project together for his very last day. Um, and it seems like uh, they're creating these odd symbols kind of out of nowhere, um, but they feel like they have a special bond. You know, he sees her as kind of a, a granddaughter to him and she sees him as kind of a grandfather. Um, but oddly, strangely, they've created some odd symbols in the wood they've been working with today. Okay, so seeing all these stars, um, after they they had created this this odd project together, and they weren't quite sure what was was guiding them in creating these odd symbols and this, and they weren't quite sure what it is they even made. Um, but once they had finished this joint project, all these people were kind of vying for um, uh, you know a look at what they had created, and it seemed like everybody seemed to love it. And Veronica and Harrison were like, "What?" So it was now time for their final lunch break together, uh, Harrison and Veronica. Um, the sun was shining that day and it almost seemed, uh, you know, that uh, there was some special uh, um, event going on in the sky. It almost seemed like there was a rainbow around the sun. So they just figured it was an optical illusion, uh, but they, uh, one of their favorite pastimes at lunch is to lay down on the grass outside of their work. Um, and look up at the clouds and see if they can make out different shapes of animals and, and whatnot. Um, but they did make note of the very odd occurrence of this, like what appears to be a rainbow around a sun. Um, so they figured that this was a good sign. It meant that they were uh, going to keep in touch. Um, and this wasn't the end for Harrison and Veronica, um, since he did want to keep this young lady in his life uh, because he still had much to teach her. While Veronica and Harrison laid out looking up at the clouds for the last time on his lunch break, who knows, they would probably do this in the future, uh, Harrison was reminiscing about his boyhood and he was talking about when he first uh, learned to um, whittle and, you know, it stemmed from his love of nature and um, being out amongst the trees and the plants and he said that uh, he almost felt guided to create beautiful works of art out of wood. Harrison also talked about another point in his life uh, where um, he was not as happy creating his his will uh, his whittlings his works of art um, when he was uh, told um, he was he was working for a big corporation and uh, he needed to churn out tons and tons of his his workings and it almost felt he said as if he had been working in a sweatshop um, so it was less about um, you know, the beautiful creation, more about just quantity. And so he was warning Veronica never to fall into something like that. Veronica continued to tell Harrison how wonderful uh, he's been and that he has been uh, such a wonderful person in her life and she has now seen her job differently um, and she will continue to uh, work and do well in her job and she promises promises to come and visit uh, Harrison on a weekly basis just to let him know uh, what's going on with their former co-workers and things like that um, and to see what he's been creating at home. As Veronica and Harrison parted ways uh, Harrison finally started driving back to his home and he was reminiscing about his wife, who unfortunately had passed away a couple years prior. Um, 
She was also a lover of nature, um, not a whittler herself, but she used to uh, be a seamstress and create beautiful things. Um, and so Harrison had a unusual image of his wife in his mind. Just before Harrison walked into the door, um, he had a feeling that um, somehow this young lady um, may have a piece of his wife in her, you know, even though um, he couldn't quite figure out how that could be. But somehow there was a connection between him and this young lady, and it almost made him feel as if his wife was not too far away. Um, so he didn't have any romantic feelings for Veronica, but more saw her as his granddaughter, you know, kin, but also uh, with the same caring eyes that he gave his wife. That night, Harrison had a little bonfire in his backyard, and he contemplated what the universe had in store for him for <laughs> post-career. Okay, and I feel like we're getting to the end of our story, so let's see, how does it end for our friend Harrison? So in one part of town um, in Gillespie, um, where Harrison lived as he contemplated what was left for him uh, in the universe and what direction his life might take now that he was in the twilight years of his life, uh, Veronica was now in her home, in her bed, looking up at the moon, knowing that Harrison was probably having his little powwow like he normally does in his backyard, um, and she cried only because she knew that uh, her and Harrison would not be able to work together anymore, uh, but she knew that they would still keep in contact, and so that brought her some solace. All right, and I believe that is the end. <laughs> So that was kind of fun. I encourage you guys to definitely try this out. Actually, I really love this. So no, not kind of fun. It was actually really fun. Um, so yeah, that's our little bedtime story. That was um, Tarot Storytime put on by James of Light of Riga. So definitely go check out his channel. Again, I'll put the link below so you can kind of see what he came up with his story. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, uh, do a VR to James of Light of Riga. Um, I am really interested to see what kind of stories you guys come up with. On that note, I shall have another sip of tea. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell for more videos just like this. Um, and if you would like to catch a reading with me, just as a reminder, um, until next week, December 11th, uh, there is 25% off in my shop. So uh, definitely go check that out. My shop is listed below in the information box. And I'll catch you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.